So now we have our second video as far as detailing. So what we've done before be this is we've gone ahead and we've taken a wall section, we've broken it up into different areas, and then we've gone ahead and we've expanded or done a call out for one of those sections to show here our floor system connection to our wall. Uh, the other thing is, I'm going to go ahead and take that repeating detail off, we need to go ahead and actually show our floor joined to our walls. Okay, so if you remember the process of that is you simply go to your Modify tab, you click on the Join Geometry, and you can either select the floor, then the wall, or the wall, then the floor. It really has no bearing as far as the order. But what happens is you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, just a little bit of color so you can see. No, oh, let's not do that. It's too bright. So we'll go ahead and we'll leave this as it is. But as you can see here, we have our floor system, we have our, she our sheathing, and we have our floor finish. Here we have our stud wall area, and then we have our chip board. Okay. So when we're looking at this, we now can see our stud is actually sitting on the sheathing, okay, which is the way it should be. So the first thing we want to do is we want to start off with a with this particular wall, as you can see, is a CMU on metal studs. So we want to actually put a CMU pattern here. So you're going to go to Annotate, you're going to go to your Detail Component, and you're going to go to Repeating Detail. All right, and I've already created a CMU Repeating Detail. So once you have it selected, you simply will trace the existing line that you have there, and it's going to turn it into, to show it as our CMU wall. So now I can adjust this, so my, the CMU blocks or courses go all the way up. As you can see in this particular case, the CMU is sitting in front of our break line. We want it to sit behind the break line. So if you select the repeating detail, you can simply say send to back. By doing that, as you can see, it places it behind the break line cover. The next thing we want to do is we want to start to assemble the parts and pieces of this wall configuration. Uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to go back to our detail component and we're going to click on Detail Components. Now, if you've already loaded some detail components, then you'll already have them listed in your properties. If not, we're going to go and say Load Family. We're going to go into the Detail Components file, and we're going to go into Division 5, which is Metals. Division 5 contains your metal framing, your stud framing, your floor joist steels, things like that. So in this one, we're going to select our channel studs, because we want the channel to sit at the bottom of our wall. So we're going to load this. All right. And we have our channel stud right here. We're going to use a 6-inch channel stud. And we're just going to zoom in here and place that right there in that corner. Okay. And if you wanted to, we could also do the one at the, at the bottom of it by simply dragging this over here and dropping that in. Now we want to go ahead and we're going to add insulation to this wall. And we'll give it a thickness, which we can leave it at five and a half inches. And we're going to say it's going to go to center. So all we're going to do now is find the center of our stud and draw that insulation up. The same thing we had with our repeating detail we have with our insulation. We have to select it and say send to back. So it stops it at that break line. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a st our studs, uh, the, side, the wall studs. So we're going to say detail component. And we're going to say C studs, and they're 6 inches. So we're going to draw up this wall. And again, we'll extend it beyond it. And then we can go ahead and tell it to send it to back. So when we do that now, you see a hierarchy. We have our channel stud, we have our stud itself, and then we have our insulation. Okay. All right. And then we can do the same process down here for the bottom side. So we can come in here, we can select insulation, we can find the center, and then we can drag our insulation down beyond there. And then we need to add our stud itself. We'll go ahead and we get the C stud side. Oh, get the C stud side and we'll draw that down as there on, on well. And then with this one what we need to do is we need to adjust this so that First, we need to make sure we get the right size stud, and then we need to go ahead and tell it to send it to the back. So again, we have our same hierarchy of insulation, our stud, and then our channel stud. Now what we have here, we have our connection to our ceiling, um, and we have our overall floor. So the next video we're going to look at is actually going to be annotating this particular detail.